Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. All right, so it's a bunch of illegals up in New York, and it's that time of the year where... Can you actually call them... Can you still call them illegal? I mean, they're just letting them come in. They're, they're, they're visitors now. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they're visitors. Because if, if, if your government allows them to come yeah. in, give them, uh, give them money, shelter... Yeah, they're visitors. Yeah, freeloaders. That's what they are, freeloaders. Leeches. Yeah. Clinger arms. Yeah, deadbeats. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> niggas. <laughs> I should have taken uh, that. Was, that, that uh, you took it too far. I took one. it too far. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, you know what? I'm a bigger person than that. I took things too far. But you know what? It's a free country. I can say what the hell, <laughs> what the hell I want. All right, so it's that time of the year, and um, what time of the year is it? Thanksgiving, holidays, right? So during Thanksgiving, like in the poor areas, they get these food lines going, giving the poor people like turkeys and mashed potatoes, green beans, macaroni and cheese. You put some gravy. Good times. Uh, cranberry sauce. Yeah. Some a, a slice of apple pie on the side. You know who some we, some pumpkin pie, some sweet potato pie. You know who we thank for all this? Who? Christopher Columbus. Without him, without the pilgrims, there would be no Thanksgiving. Matter of fact, we need to. Didn't avoid, the Indians help? We need to praise. Well, it has gotten away. <laughs> we need to praise white people. Without white people, we ain't got Christmas. Jeff, you need to stop. We ain't got Halloween. <laughs> stop. We ain't got Christmas. Did I say Christmas? We ain't got Halloween. We ain't got Thanksgiving. All right, Kevin, that's enough. No, man. I mean, we don't appreciate white people. <laughs> don't you think? I, I appreciate everybody. I, I especially appreciate white people. You know what? I ain't going to lie. I do, too. I mean, say it, man. You know, it's a free country. Don't ever be afraid to express your opinion. <laughs> Hey, let me get to what I'm talking about. That's why we got that damn turkey. White people came with all that cranberry sauce, the, <laughs> the craving, the mashed potatoes, the stuffing. I Indians did. didn't come with that shit. Africans didn't come with White people came over that, man. I have a... Man, Kevin, shut up. <laughs> so, what I want to... It's true, though. Hey, Kevin, that's not what we're talking about. I'm just saying, hey, man, if you're white, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all don't hear that enough. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so up in New York, you know, the deadbeats are up there. They're, they're not illegals. And uh, they, they got the food lines going. But now the black people are getting pissed off Why? that the deadbeats is beating them in line and taking all the food and all the resources. Wait a minute. I mean, y'all voted for this. That's crazy. And hey, let's go to the video. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't rush. Look, I understand why the deadbeats are in line, you know? Yeah, they ain't got no, they ain't got much resource. They ain't got no job. They can't speak the language. Yeah, you know, they they don't have they don't have the wherewithal to go out and get them a good meal. Okay, okay. But what's the excuse for the Negro? There's no excuse. You know what? I would do anything if we could just pay black people reparations and get them out of here. <laughs> Hey, Kim, what's wrong with you? No, man, no. Cut your, cut your losses. No, man. No, no, just cut your losses, man. We were, There's they, some good black people that's poor, that's still poor. They just get... Yeah, they call... Yeah, they, they lean right. But these... They, let me be more specific. We got to get these these left-leaning Negroes out of here. Give them their reparations. Cut our losses, right? <laughs> Give them their own land like, like, like the British did with Israel. You know? How's that working out for the Jews and the Palestinians, Kim? Well, they didn't. They, they wasn't thinking strategically. You don't put a bunch of white, blue-eyed Jews in, around a bunch of brown people. <laughs> you was just asking for them. <laughs> no, they're not all blue eyes, though. No, I, hey, Kim, I would take the Negro, put them in. Um, and you know what, man? Just send them back just, to Africa. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Kevin, even black people don't want to go back to Africa. No, they they call they, themselves, they, they call themselves African American. No, they ain't going to Africa. They go to Africa. They ain't stupid enough to call themselves African American. They go to Africa. They ain't Just going give them a little money. They ain't going. Give them a little money. Let man, them you niggas crazy. go. You okay. They ain't going to Africa. But anyway, I'm gonna show you this video. They fighting over the resources up in New York. Check it out. Neighborhood in Queens between NYCHA tenants and newly arrived migrants. Tensions are growing with not enough food to go around. 
Why do we have to take the butt of everything, okay? <laughs> this community here is already suffering. The residents living in NYCHA's Queensbridge houses look forward to the mobile food pantries that show up weekly. But over the past year, they have witnessed 8,000 migrants move into their neighborhood, and they've also noticed the migrants are also starting to take their stuff. They was first online for the turkeys this morning. If they tell you to be there at 11 o'clock, you get there like 10.30, 10.45, but they already out there. The line is from over there to over here. Free food giveaways, especially Lazy. during the holidays, have become a source <laughs> of tension between longtime New Yorkers struggling to get by and newly arrived migrants who are using the system to survive. A month ago, one you altercation know. got so heated between What's a happened? resident and a migrant, someone ended up in the hospital. We would never turn anyone away for a meal, but there simply just is not enough for both NYCHA residents and the migrant shelter residents. Council member Julie Wan says she alerted the mayor to the growing tension in her community and was able to get $50,000 to increase the number of hot meals served inside NYCHA's. But she's concerned the mayor's new budget cuts will only put further stress on a community already living in scarcity. People are going hungry right now. People are frustrated with not having enough to eat, not having heat and hot water in their shelters or in their houses in NYCHA. And people want to make sure that they just have our, their basic needs met, like any human would anywhere. And that's what's causing the tension. And we're going to see what happens tomorrow. That's when the Reese family and council member Juan are putting together a fall family feast equipped to serve 2,000 people. We're going to see how far the resources can stretch. See, Democrats, they condition people to be dependent on the government just to survive. Yeah. Like Republicans, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You need to take care of yourself. Yeah. This is what happens when you depend on your government for everything. I like the more conservative uh, type of perspective, sentiment, more, more motto. Don't don't depend on the government. You know, have the good. You know, learn your own trait. Learn how to fish. Learn how to uh, garden. Learn. Man, learn. Shut up. What the hell are you talking about? No, learn to provide for yourself. Don't learn yeah. to, you know, depend on your government. Well, that's I what Democrats no do. When you when you vote for them, oh, you black. You know there's racism out there. They ain't going to give you no job. You better vote for me. You, be, you If you don't vote for me, you voting for white supremacy. You know Trump's a racist. You need to vote for me. I'll take care of you, you coloreds. <laughs> what you, you turkey, blacks I give, need. I give you turkeys. I give you free meals. You just got to vote. You need me, Negro. You need me. You, Without me, you ain't shit. Yeah, pretty much that's what they say. They condition them to be dependent on the white liberal. You know, you know what you take away? And the white liberal come up with all these crazy policies, bring all these illegals in. Now they're taking your turkeys. You complain about them getting up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Get your black ass up at 8. <laughs> See, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. What you doing? Look like you ain't got no job. <laughs> what else you doing? <laughs> Sleeping, you lazy bitch. <laughs> hey, look. Look, these migrants, man, they have a better outlook on life, man. Yeah. Look, they they, they beat these. What? They got turkeys. Jose, hey, get Maria. They're giving out turkeys. Hey, look. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody in line. They got to like this. <laughs> Talking Spanish. Hey, Keith, look. Then the blade, you see the black people say, hey, yes, hey, look, Negroes. <laughs> we beat him. <them. laughs> Look, like they complaining about they're in line first. That's your fault. You even victimizing yourself and being lazy. Yeah. Well, just what you voted for. Now you have to reap the consequences. <laughs> Damn, the show. The show sucked. That's horrible to them old black women. They probably need that food, that cabbage. Nah, no, I'd rather give it to the illegals. Man, shut up. What kind of American are you? Shut up. Shut up. They voted for it. They, people like them, them Negroes, they destroying our, they destroying our country. Yeah. We need more white people in this country. Yeah. You know? No, not just white people. You need white Republicans. Not all white people are Republicans. You know that, right? Well, you at least you got a 50-50 shot. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Negro, you ain't got no shot. <laughs> it's 99% it's, different. It's, it's, it's 90 teams. <laughs> hey, our giveaway is almost up. Giving away a Ford Bronco and 10000 cash. And right now, if you enter, you get 20 times the interest. And you can also win this Ford F-350. It's got the power stroke in there. And that truck comes with 10000 cash, too. Go to fitzrogtwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically in it to win. And I just want to say yeah. to all the white people, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine if we didn't have white people, it would just be illegal immigrants and Negroes. What do you think this country looked like? <laughs>
The show's over. <laughs>